If you can't go to space in Huntsville, Alabama, NASA brings space to you. You think space is pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Every year, 30,000 kids like 12-year-old Sasha Napolov come to Space Camp or Space Academy to learn what it takes to become an astronaut. What do you want to do when you go to space? Uh, go to Mars. Most of these campers come for a week, but for this astronaut in training, I got a day. To get disoriented. First test, the multi-access trainer, or MAT, which simulates an astronaut tumbling in space. So your center of gravity is your stomach, and that's not going to move, so you're not going to get sick, no matter how you spin. Famous last words. Five different ways to buckle me in. <laughs> it's going to swing. Okay, MAT, crank it up. I'm tumbling in space. Woo! You doing all right? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Next challenge, walking on the moon. And this one was developed for the Apollo program when we had our lunar mission. So you're going to be walking on a lunar surface. Oh, too cool. So this is like walking on the moon. Yes. Wait, like this, right? When you're simulating one-sixth gravity, walking isn't as easy as it looks. It's hard to really have much control. I guess that's what happens when gravity goes away. This way? Eventually, I got my lunar bearings. The weightless thing is kind of cool. My fellow campers taking their outer orbit experiences very seriously. It's not easy to be in space, clearly. Not an easy mission you're on here. Not at all. I can't imagine what the astronauts have to do in space with the It's a lot harder. I just love space. I love learning about space. I love really everything about space. And I love to come with my friends. So I want to let you in on a little secret. When I was a kid, I actually didn't grow up to want to be a journalist in the beginning. I wanted to be an astronaut. And so 20 years ago, I came right here to Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama. And this is too cool to be able to put on a flight suit and 20 years later, go back in space. Here we go. Time for the big test, commanding a space shuttle mission. Open up your checklist. So this is like what the crew on Atlantis, they'll be sitting just like this, yes. checking off things they need to do before yep, they go Yeah, that's what space. all the Velcro here is for, to put their checklist books down. The pilot does it. That's After we run through our checks um, using a panel that's panel nearly identical to the one inside yeah. Atlantis, okay. we wait yeah. for the go from Capcom. And you guys can sit back, relax, and get ready for lunch. Countdown to liftoff, and then the change in scenery. Look at the stars. So you get into space pretty quickly. Yes. yes. How fast are we going? We're going up to 4 Gs. 4 Gs. Can we go over top? Once we're in space, it's time to space suit up so for a spacewalk. Here we go. Going into space. So explain to me what I'm going to be doing. You are going to be using our Canada arm to go up and repair the satellite. There's a damaged antenna that you guys need to replace. Strapped in, up I go. Woo! to fix a satellite. You're going to reattach it in that exact location. Push it in quick. Got good it. job. All right. Got it. All systems look good. Mission accomplished. So far, so good for my training day until the final test. Okay. You ready, Clayton? <laughs> yeah. All right. The centrifuge, a.k.a. the Vomit Comet, which reaches 3.2 Gs. How y'all doing? Woo! Yeah. How y'all feeling? Not good. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just shy of full throttle, I was done. Oh my gosh. I had to stop. It was too hot. Okay. It was too hot and too small. So maybe 20 years later, this CNN anchor doesn't quite have what it takes. Nuclear propulsion? Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's down, down. super cooled hydrogen, passes through ura uranium, and it becomes super hot, and it comes out of the nozzle. Nuclear propulsion. He's 12. I think I know someone who does. <laughs>